Good morning out there everyone and welcome to your yoga practice today. So today we're going to do a little stretch, a little asana work, and a little more core work to prepare us for other pursuits in yoga or to strengthen us for other activities that you might like to do. So grab those props and or accoutrements that you might like to have and let's take it to the mat. Let's get started. And we're going to start seated today. So, get yourself in a comfortably seated position. Sukhasana, technically that's what that's called. All right, let's start with inhale, bring the arms up, and exhale to the floor with the breath. Two more. Now let's take it to the sides. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, back to center. And then the left. Making sure, of course, that we're not dumping into the opposite side or that our hip Hip isn't lifting, that we're staying long on both, which helps us to get better length on the side of the pose. Yeah. Let's get one more time on each side. And back to center. And we're going to take that right arm behind us, place it at the base of the spine, not nice and tall. Inhale, lengthen that left arm up. And on the exhale, left hand outside the right knee. Roll that right shoulder back and open into our twist. And then exhale, release back to center. Then we'll take the left hand behind us at the base of the spine. Inhale, lengthen that right arm up. And exhale, right hand outside the left knee. Left shoulder rolls back and open. And on an exhale, back to center. I'm going to switch perspectives. And we're going to take, we're going to loosen up how our legs are crossed. So at least we have our shins, one in front of the other, kind of parallel to each other. I'm just going to walk the hands back as much as is comfortable. Move down through the tailbone. And lift through the sternum, open the chest, lengthening the spine.
Now we'll walk it back up and take it forward. You can kind of walk the hips side to side a little bit. Walk it back up, switch your shins. Walk those hands back again. We are opening our lifting. Walk it back up and walk it forward. Give the outer hip on the side a little stretch. Walk it back up. Then we're going to uncross the legs. Pick, place those feet flat, about hip width apart. And we're up nice and tall here, keeping the chest open. So shoulders down and back, plugged in nicely into the socket. We're just going to hinge back until we feel some activation in the midsection. Bring those arms forward. And then inhale, sweep the right arm out to the right. Exhale, back to center. And then the left. Alternating with the breath, keeping our torso, our chest facing directly forward and not rotating with the sweeping of our arms. Two more each side. Don't get ahead of the breath. Keep it steady and controlled. Hold here briefly. Now we inhale, lift up, lengthen up, and on the exhale, allow yourself to come forward. Keep the length in the spine. You can let the head and neck release as it's comfortable. Bring it back up. Now we're going to extend the legs out. Up tall again. Let's place our hands on our shoulders. Chest open. Nice and long in the spine. Keeping that length, we're going to hinge back until you feel that activation again. And we'll inhale, rotate to the right. Exhale back to center and then to the left. Keeping that rotation just in the thoracic spine. We're not throwing our shoulders side to side. And maybe you don't rotate very much right now, and that's okay. That's not the point. The goal is to try to get that movement happening to 
the best of your body's ability right now. Breathing into the belly and the sides. It's going to help stretch things out. It's going to help create that movement. Let's get two more each way. Hold here, back at center, up tall, chest still open. If you ever feel when you're doing any movement that you're closing down or collapsing, give yourself a break and then come back into it. You're not helping yourself any by letting your form deteriorate, thinking that holding on in the pose is going to help you. It's not. You're actually going to make it worse for yourself. Please don't do that. Side note on that. All right, bring it back up. Inhale those arms up and exhale, bring them to the sides, just outside the hips, we'll take staff pose, press down into the mat, opening, lengthening. And then we'll release. Now what? The knees bend a little bit. We're going to roll it on back. <clears throat> and we're going to bring those legs up straight. We can bend and extend a little bit to help engage the quads, lengthen the hamstrings. For this next exercise. All right. Swing the arms out in T. We're going to inhale, lower the right leg down, exhale, bring it back up, and then the left. Making sure that we're keeping our spine neutral, we're not pressing down, and we're not arching up, so only lower that leg down as far as you can, maintaining form of the spine. And that can be different for everybody. Upper body and arms, stay relaxed. All the work is happening in your middle right now. Keep the breath steady and the movement steady with the breath. Don't speed it up. Don't get ahead of it. Because maybe you start to struggle or it gets difficult. Keep the breath steady. We got a little bit longer. One more each side. This is it. And then we'll bend those knees. Keep them at 90. I know maybe we got a little fire going through the quads. We're almost there. Inhale down to the right. And exhale back up to center. Bend to the left. With the breath.
one more time each side. And back up to center. Now we're going to place our hands on the fronts of our knees, on our thighs. We'll do a little variation on the dead bug. So we're going to inhale, lengthen the right side, pressing the left. Exhale back to center, and then we'll inhale and lengthen the left side, pressing right, alternating with the breath, nice and steady, lengthening only as far as your spinal alignment will allow. Two more on each side. Now we're going to take a press both, so we're holding a press. Nice little shake in our midsection. And release. All right, feet flat about hip width apart. Let's take a nice big inhale. Now that exhale, let's lift the hips up into a bridge. Make sure it's the glutes that are doing the lifting, not off the hamstrings. Give them a little tap if you need to. And we're going to inhale, sink down just a little. Exhale, press back up with the breath. Two more. And then we're going to hold. Now if you'd like to take it a little bit further, do a little more work here, you can. Keeping the hips level, very important. We're going to extend that left knee. So that right glute is really loading right now. Or you could just keep it as you were. Left one down. And now we'll do the right. Hips level. Really making that left side work to keep us up. Right side back down. Lower. All the way back down. Let's take a quick little happy baby. And let's grab opposite ankles. And we're going to rock it up. We're going to come up to kneeling on our right side. Fold the mat under. Or place a cushion on your knee if you need a little more um, cushion there. 
<laughs> left foot lined up with the right knee. Everything stacked over that right side, so we're not here, not way over. Up tall, whoosh, tailbone locked into place. Let's bring those arms out to the side. Get our hair on high. Now, if you need a block here, it could be handy to have one if you have difficulty going all the way down. So, have that at the ready if you need it. We're going to inhale, keep it long, touch down. Stretching this on the exhale, contract those obliques to lift you back up with the breath. Now, if you can't go to the floor, use that block. Tap down on the stats because we don't want to be pushing ourselves up off the floor. This doesn't count. Swing our hips. We don't want to do that. Our glutes are locked in. We're just using those obliques. One more on this side. Then we'll bring it all the way up and over. Give it a little stretch on the right. Back to center. And we're going to bring those arms out again. So we get in the right position to come down. And now we want to keep our hips as they are. And come forward just a little bit. And lift that left foot. Still pressing the hips forward. We have a tendency to want to collapse back. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right, we'll bring that foot down. Lift up just like we've done. And release. Okay. Move this out of the way. We're going to switch sides. Stacking everything over that left knee. Right foot nicely lined up, locked into place. Arms off to the side. Here we go. Inhale, taking it down. Exhale, lifting back up. Don't drop the left arm as you come down. Sometimes you have a tendency to do this. Don't do that. Don't do that either. Two more. All the way up and over, get that stretch. Back to our center. Lowering back down and get ready to lift ah, that right foot as fast you can. It's easier to keep your arm at the side too. You can do that as well. That seems to be the case for me on this side. Lower down, lift back up, and release. Now take both 
in. And we're going to step, have your feet about a little wider than hip width. We're going to come down into the LD squat, as some people like to call it. Make sure our spine is up tall, chest is open. Place a block under your butt or something, roll up mat or towel under your heels if you need to for a little more lift and balance. And from here, we're just going to roll up into forward fold. Inhale, take it all the way up to standing. And on the exhale, we're going to take twisting chair to our right. Release back to center, press it back up, and exhale, taking it to the left. Exhale, release the center. Inhale, bring it back up. And exhale, take it back down to our forward fold. Turn. Now from here, we're going to step it back into a lovely little plank. Just for a little bit. On an exhale, press back into down dog. And another exhale, shifting back to our plank. Press back to down dog one last time. Pedal the legs a little bit if you'd like for a little more stretch. Now we're going to bring it right back to seated. I'm going to grab hold of the outside edge of the feet. They're about hip width apart. And we're going to lengthen the spine, shoulders back and chest open. We'll just start to walk our feet forward, keeping that alignment in our spine. When we stop, when we can't maintain that alignment anymore. If I were to bring my knees to the floor, I would lose that weight. So this is my stopping point. Oh, a little further. And release. Let the left leg extend out. We're going to grab hold of the right. We're going to bring it up. Roughness the toe. Just kind of pull up like we're drawing a bow. Archer's pose. This is fittingly called. 
Up tall, just bringing it back. And release. And grab hold of the left. And do the same, pulling it back. Kind of pull back and release a couple times to let things relax a little bit. We're just doing a modification, a variation of this pose because we would grab hold of an opposite foot. Right now, we're just focusing on the stretch and opening of the hip on the single side. And release. Let's roll it on back again. Just like how when we started. We gotta do at least one more thing while we're here. So we're gonna extend those legs out. Bring the arms to the side, palms up. And we're gonna start to kind of roll the chin, tuck the chin a little bit, lift. And we're just doing like the top half of a crunch, just a little bit, holding. We're also keeping our neck, our cervical spine long. And roll back down. Shake it out a little bit. And exhale. Rolling back up. And rolling back down. Shake it out. All right, let's bring those arms overhead and place the fingers. Take a nice deep inhale. Giving up all your tension, flex all your muscles, make a face, hold it, hold everything. Exhale and release, let it all go. Bring your arms to your sides and take Shivasana. And let's roll it over onto the right or left side to the feet of both. Rest it back up to seated. Nice and tall and long. Inhale, lengthen one last time. And exhale to the heart center. Namaste. We now go and take on the day. Yeah. Or end the day, which of this. Great job. Great job out there. Thanks for joining. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.